The wonders of the natural world are an antidote to these troubling times, especially the extraordinary life in our oceans. Like the millions of golden jellyfish here in the marine lakes of Palau, a unique subspecies evolved to harvest energy directly from sunlight. Or the myriad diversity of the world's coral reefs, where 25% of marine species live. But here too, there's another biomass which dwarfs everything else combined, and it's invisible to the naked eye. It's the microbial life of our seas, and it's found everywhere from the surface to 4,000 meters down. And these unseen microbes include astronomical quantities of viruses that attack marine bacteria, all part of the web of life in the sea. In fact, every liter of seawater contains more viruses than there are people on the planet. 95% of all life in the ocean by weight is comprised not of fish or of whales, but of microbes. And it is these microbes that create 50% of all oxygen on the planet, every second breath that we breathe. The problem is, from invisible life forms to some of the biggest beasts on the planet, biodiversity is threatened by environmental destruction. For the African elephant, it's more than just poaching for the ivory trade. We're also facing big, big challenges when it comes to habitat degradation, transformation for larger industries, and of course, the, the biggest impact that is less talked about, which is the increasing population of Africans, and therefore the competing nature of land between elephants and people. And it's when the ever-decreasing frontier between wildlife and humans is breached, disease like coronavirus can jump from animals to people. Out of these 7.8 million species that we have on the planet, about 1 million species are under threat from extinction. And that's a lot because nature is this finely attuned, biodiversity is a finely attuned system where each one plays, each species plays a role in the bigger puzzle. COVID-19 is clearly one of these messages that we need to understand and, and heed very fast that we can't continue to undermine and encroach on nature and expect nature to be uh, stable. It's apparent that we're at a turning point. Experts say the era post-COVID must be one where we act to save our environmental heritage or we'll continue to pay a heavy price. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera.